Welcome to Linux tutorial. Now we are going to see about Ansible, a simple IT management tool. Ansible is used for configuring and managing software on the remote system using SSH. And like other management tools, it no needs any remote agents that is to be run on the background of the remote host. It just requires a SSH connection and a Python to be installed on the remote machine. It just deploys models on the remote host temporarily till the SSH connection exists. And once the SSH connection is exited from the host machine, then the models are removed. One of the main feature of Ansible is you can monitor or you can manage number of servers from a single machine. And this is the machine from which I am going to manage the remote host. You can check the IP here and this is the controlling machine IP address now let me move into the installation of Ansible Ansible can be installed from the EPL repo you have to first check whether the EPL repo is enabled in your system for that the command is m repo list and give enter you can see here the EPL repo is not listed so we have to enable the EPL repo m install and epl hyphen release if epl release is already present in your system once you give tap it will finish the file name and give enter now give y to download and now it asks for importing the gpg key give s now the installation of epl repo is successfully completed now I'm giving m install Ansible and give enter. Now it is checking for the Ansible package in the EPL repo file. Give s to download that is why. And now the package is started downloading. Now give y to import the gpg key. Now the required packages are installing. Now we have installed the Ansible successfully. Now let me move into the configuration. Now we are going to create the public key and private key of the controlling host ssh hyphen keygen and hyphen b space the value hyphen b is bits and 4048 is a bit value. This is the bit value of the key to be generated and next iphone t rsa and space here you can use open capital c option and you can enter the command here and giving here root at the controlling machine ip and close the quotes the command we enter in the quotes will be displayed at the end of the key generated I will show it to you after the key generated and it asks for the file file path to save the key and this is the default path you can give just enter and then the key will be stored in this default path and next is passphrase you can give any passphrase or you can give just enter to leave it empty it is recommended to give passphrase for more security i am leaving this as just blank space and giving enter and again enter now here you can see your identification key has been saved in this location and the public key has been saved in this location it is not advised to share your private key with any host only the public key can be shared with other host and next we are going to copy our public key to the to the remote host now i will show you the command we enter the key path is by default the key path will be stored in the home of the user so i am giving him dot ssh and id id underscore rse this is the private key 
and when we give dot pub and this is the public key and here you can see the command I have added now I'm closing this I'm going to manage here two servers so now I'm going to copy the public key to the two servers SSH F and copy the root at the remote IP the first remote IP seven and enter the remote root users password I am giving the password and here you can see number of keys added and now try logging into the machine with ssh root at the ip ssh root at one two dot here you can see now logged in directly without asking the password so we can confirm that the ssh key has been successfully copy to the remote machine and now I am signing out now I am going to copy the public key to the next remote host the command is ssh hyphen copy hyphen id and space and the remote host user and the IP give yes to accept the connection and enter the remote host password now the key is added and now try logging in using just ssh and the username and the ip here you can see it logged into the remote machine without asking any password now the public key has been imported to both the remote host now let me move into the configuration of ansible host file now we are going to edit the host file of the ansible to allow these remote host to get access the path is vim etc ansible and host now I'm going to add in the group web servers now enter the two remote IPs which we have chosen the next one and now save this file now let me check the usage of Ansible command First, let me ping the added remote host. The command is Ansible space the group name as we have given web servers and next the option iPhone M that is for model ping and give enter. Here you can see the report the IP 5.2.7 is success and 5.177 is success. So here you can add number of remote host and you can get the output in a single command and the next command we can check is ansible and the group name and next hyphen a and give the command in the quotes service httpd status here i am giving a because the extra parameters like spaces and hyphen if we use in the command you have to mention hyphen a and now i am giving enter here you can see the status of httpd of two connected remote host and here you can also restart this httpd using this command here you can see stopping httpd and starting httpd and next you can also check the 
disk space using the command df-h of the two remote host and sibin and hyphen a and space and mentioning quotes df space hyphen h and close the quotes you can see the disk space and the directories mounted on it in a single command and we can also check the cpu hardware information of the two remote machines by using the command ansible and the group name and hyphen a space open quotes cat slash pro and slash cpu info and q enter and here you can see the CPU information of the two remote host the one first one and the second one and next we can check the RAM usage same as the previous command web servers space hyphen a and for a single command you no need to mention in quotes you can just give and here you can see the RAM usage and swap memory usage and all likewise you can check other options also using the command ansible hyphen h here you can see the list of options which helps in different usages of these servers and you can check the ansible version using the command ansible space hyphen hyphen version And here you can see the version and that's all about ansible tool in this video we can see more in the next video thank you